your commitment here at COP28 to work together to enhance access to climate finance through strengthening complementarity and coherence is the signal that is needed. We have also issued statements in the past. Um, this is not the first, uh, but I think this is the most ambitious that I have seen. So in order for us to move forward, building on the foundation of work that we have already done, there is a need to really start to ask pretty difficult questions as to can we actually harmonize the way in which the countries will come to us to access resources? And can we simplify all across board uh, the ways uh, in which the, the countries can come? And so it's a question of accessibility, it's a question of availability, but also the question of accelerating access. So. The fact that these are multilateral funds, I think matters tremendously. The ability to pool money from different sovereigns matters tremendously. The ability to try, and we can talk about the improvement side later, to um, align um, priorities and to be more coherent for countries matters. The fact that the governance of these funds is balanced, developing countries, developed countries, matters tremendously. Uh, when we think about uh, climate change and biodiversity together, we see that we need even more complementary work of the funds um, so that we are able to take out the best of each fund and its capacity and also to produce even a more and bigger value added um, on, on, on that when uh, we bring the uh, four funds to work much more closely than uh, um, they did already. The four funds hosting this event today are therefore pillars of hope and agents of transformative change.